Okay, this is just to take that uh, bones example with the serenity landing str a little further. It's kind of an interesting idea to play around with. Um, so what I've got here is the same same thing as in the last video. It's just been extended, so it now has some little toes to land on as well. So uh, what do I have here? If I go to the mesh and go to the modify panel, you can see I've got a skin modifier added to it. And let's just go in there and look at that. And I only have a few bones really active here. Thigh bone, there. Shin bone, it's the next one down. Let's turn on the uh, envelope so you can see those. And notice that I've got select element checked here. So that means when I made all this, these were all separate models. Um, once I attached them all and made them one model together, they are separate elements automatically, which makes them really easy to pick. Anyway, shin bone, you can see it. Left talon bone, I called that one. Left talon, uh, real, rear talon, right talon. And then the shin bone. And that's uh, shin bone nub. And that's actually the little nub on the end of this bone here. And let me turn those bones on so you can see them. Actually, let's just take this and go to properties and say we'll make it see through. So you can see the bones inside. And so these are all those bones, and there's the little nub. And uh, one thing I wanted to talk about here is when you lift these talons up, because maybe it lands and it needs to give a little bit as it digs into the ground, um, normally what's going to happen if you're not careful is that these bones are going to twist as you try to use a controller and lift them up and down. So what you have to do is go into each second bone. There's three bones in here. The third one's the nub. And go to the hierarchy panel and go to IK. And I'm just going to minimize sliding joint. Look at rotational joint. All of those second bones on the fingers there have to be set this way so they don't rotate. X-axis can be, both of these can be unchecked. Y-axis should be active only. And z-axis should be just limited. And if you do that, you should have pretty good success with uh, being able to do this kind of an action. And uh, you notice these are all offset, so there's room to make a rotational joint for each one of them. Otherwise, you get, it gets real busy right in here. I think I'm going to do another iteration on this further and just play around with it and see what else I can do with it. So if you have any questions about it, um, put it in the comments. I'll try to answer it. Take this off, and uh, the way these controllers work, I should uh, just point that out also. This bone at the top is a child of, actually this bone here is a child of this controller. So I could just pick this bone and control it as well, but um, once the whole model's done, you're going to have a hard time grabbing these bones because they're all on the inside. That's why you use a separate object like a a circle as a controller. And that's just a 2D shape. You just draw it. And uh, it's this parent-child select and link type action that makes something a parent or a child. So let me just do one for you so you can see it. I'm going to go uh, select and link. I'm going to grab this child and make it a child of that parent. So now this circle is the parent of that other circle. So see how it's still attached? It's that easy to do that. Just make some object the parent of one of your bones, and that's a controller.